The Instant Pot Duo Crisp and Air Fryer, brand new on the market, just released, or I just got it today, just released in the last few days, against my all-time favorite Ninja Foodie Deluxe. Both of them are eight-quart devices. I've got two pretty much identical racks of baby back ribs, and we're fixing to find out which one of those do them best, or if there's any difference. I'm John Sanders, also known as Jelly007. Let's cook some baby back ribs. Okay, so there's a lot of videos on YouTube on how to do this, <clears throat> but you have to remove the silver skin, in my opinion, to cook ribs right. And all you really do is you just start it somewhere, and then you take a paper towel, something you can grip that silver skin with, and then sometimes this, you got to do it more than once, but you see, you get the idea right there. Just kind of keep up with it, and it comes off like that. And it is that simple, and I don't, like I said in my last video, you can't cook that enough to be able to eat. So I'm going to get the other one cleaned up, and uh, then we're going to, I'm going to go over what we're going to do here, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got them cut up. I'm going to use my avocado oil, and uh, just to help that uh, butt rub stick a little bit, and I'll just do one side at a time, but it's common sense. I'm going to do this, and then I'll probably put, I'll show you on one of them, about that much on this side of both of them. I'm not trying to cover them. It's a fairly, i say it before, it's a fairly strong seasoning. It's made for butt rubs, but it works really well on ribs. So that right there is what all that side is getting. I'll give them a minute to sit there, flip them over, do the same thing. And then I've got the trivets in both of these pots and that we're going to put uh, three ribs in each rack in each pot i'm going to pour one 12 ounce beer now if you watch my other video i used to use water and vinegar well i really did i found i think beer just works better now i use this or bud light the two kinds i normally drink and what i normally have i don't go after anything special just whatever you got will work and uh, i do think it helps on the taste the flavor maybe the tenderness so and it, it just does it just works good so we're going to do that once we get them in i'll go over how long we're going to cook them in each one of them and i'll be right back okay so the two 12 ounce beers are already in here the the ribs have been uh, lightly sprayed with olive oil and coated with the butt rub now what i normally do in the ninja i have never done it in here i take this end piece kind of and i lay it in the middle and then i stack these two pieces kind of let them stand against them. That's what I've always, and every time you do it, it's, it's a little different. So it's not like a, a given, but I'll try and stand them up if they'll go. But we're going to use one of the middle cuts on in one of the pots and one of the, uh, in, you know, we're going we're gonna to make it even, in other words. So that's what we're doing. And all I got to do now is find, I got the lids right behind me. And I'll try and show you. But all I'm doing is trying to make them stand and kind of be separated where they'll get, you know, where I feel better. In that, in that pot and it full of steam, it don't matter how you put them. Uh, they're going to get cooked. So, I'm going to dry my hands off right here. And now, we'll put the Ninja lid on first. In fact, I'll show you, like I said. There's what they look like in there, and it's just, you know, like I said, uh, there's a lot going on in there. It's not just uh, heat, it's steam pressure. So, if everything's not just perfect, it won't matter. All right, let's see, this is the Ninja, <laughs> and uh, I'm going to put it on, lock it, turn that one on. Same thing with the Instant Pot Duo Crisp. Whoops, I got that one backwards. My bad. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this one to pressure on high for 20 minutes. Set that to 10, 20. And then we're going to try to start them both at the same time. So we're going to hit pressure cook here. We're going, it's already on high. We're going to move that to 20. And I've already learned in the other video that you only have a few seconds on this one. It'll turn off. I'm going to hit start. We've got that one's, that one's sealed automatically. I've got this one to seal. 
I'm going to press that button right there. We're off and running. And for the record, let's see if I can get a timer going. Uh, we'll hit. If I could have my glasses on, it would help. All right, there goes the timer. And that'll tell us where they're both at. They're both running. Both of them are sealed. We're waiting on them to come to pressure and cook those ribs. See how they're going to be. Be back. Okay, so at 10 minutes, uh, this pin came up. But it's, this one's going to be ahead of it a little bit. But I just noticed you couldn't see those very well. Well, it's because I didn't pull that protective wrapping off. I hope you can see it better now. So this one's about two minutes. The Instant Pot's two minutes ahead of the Ninja. No big deal. But now you know. Okay, so the Instant Pot is almost complete. It's down to one minute. Again, it doesn't do seconds, so you kind of got to guess. But we're at 27 minutes and 25. Well, there it goes. At 27 minutes and 29 seconds, that ended. So what we're going to do is quick release the ribs. And once that's done, we're going to bring them out here. I'm going to bring them over here to sauce them, but I'll show you all that in a minute. But now, what we're going to do is that right there, which is a quick release. And once that's done, we'll get those out of there. And these are like two minutes and ten seconds over here in the Ninja. Okay, the pin just dropped on the Instant Pot. So we're going to get those out of there. Where I can pour that liquid off. Right, and I'll set this in the sink right there. Put these gloves on. Because I want to pour, you may not have to, and I don't always, but I... Uh, pouring the liquid out of the uh, con out of the liner is a kind of a good idea. I think it helps it brown. So I'm gonna move these to right here. Make sure they don't fall on the floor because I'm going to put those in there and then sauce them. And then I'm gonna pour this liquid out, the beer and the uh, which would make a you could probably do a lot uh, with what was in there, but. Obviously not going to do that. I'm down to 12 seconds right here, so I'm fixing to start it to bleeding down. I'll make sure you can see what all is going on here. And uh, we'll let that count down. And I'll start this bleed down. Right there it goes. Whoops. And we're going to move these to right here to keep them from getting confused with each other. I don't want to keep them separated. Because as you can see, they're not that pretty right now, but they're going to be. So all I have to do to these, while the Insta I mean, while the ninja is still bleeding down, is I just got to put these back in there. In fact, I can probably handle that. It's not that hot right now. Now these might be. So I want these facing in a direction. Now I'm gonna. I'm only gonna do. I probably should just do one because I'm only gonna eat one tonight. There's no reason for me to cook all of these. And it's one of the great things about pressure cooking. Uh, you can uh, uh, put these in a container, put them in the refrigerator, and all you got to do tomorrow is air crisp them and then put some sauce on them. Just like we're fixing to do here, <laughs> just tomorrow. So that's got to have about 10 minutes. And you know something? I did that wrong too. And y'all going to have to bear with me. I'm sorry. I want them in this air frying basket. I am. There's a lot. When I got two pots going, I can get confused, obviously. So all I'm going to do is put these in here, and I'll show you what they look like. Right there is how I'm going to do them, just, just in there. I mean, they're kind of leaning over where I can get surface. You know, the, this surface right here will get some air on them. i got to get that out of there. It might still be hot. The pin still hasn't dropped on the Ninja, so we're still good. And I'm going to make that right there lay just a little bit different. I'm going to try and lean them on each other where the... The sides I want to get air crisp will be exposed to the air. Yeah, I got ahead of myself two or three times. Hey, I've done it before. It'll happen again. This one's going in a, in a container for tomorrow. We don't need this anymore. I'll put that in the sink. There goes the lid on the, I mean, there goes the pin on that. So for right now, I'm just, just to kind of get my act together. I'm going to go ahead and set that lid on, and you can see it's flashing lid because I'm still on pressure cook. All right, this one's ready, so I'm going to pull it out. Now that I've done one, maybe I can do it a little better than I did last time. All right, so we're going to take 
one of these this would be a lot better way than what I did the first time <laughs> and we're going to put that right there and this in here and then this one's going to also go in the refrigerator there's no way I'll be able to eat all four rats of these ribs tonight but my point is, I want to see how it does two rats, because that's probably how most people would do it, you know. That's really about it. I'm going to get this one turned over, because it's not turned in the direction I want. I want the top side up, at least. So, i got to pour the liquid out of that, but here's how those look. I kind of got the top side of the rack up. I'm going to pull this line, this up, uh, trim it out, put it in the sink. I'm going to pour this liquid out. I'm not trying not to pour it on anything I don't want it on. That worked out. All right, so now all we got to do is put this in. So now, with all that happening, and that got kind of busy. I can tell you, this is a little confusing with more than one thing running. We're going to do 400 degrees right here. I'm going to take that to 10 minutes, and you have to start it right now, or it'll act, or it'll, it'll clear itself. So that was off and running. By the way, we're at 30, pretty much 35 minutes. This one, we're going to air crisp. We're going to take that temp to 400. We're going to take that time to, what did I set the other one for? 10 minutes, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. And we're going to hit start. So, we're off and running on both of them at whatever that is, 3522. So, this one didn't preheat. This one's having to preheat, but it's not going to be a crisis either way. I'm going to get these in a container and into the refrigerator. i got to wash this again. And when those come out, then we're going to put this on, which I almost did too early. Anyhow, I'll be right back. Okay, so we're coming up on six seconds here. That's still got... Well, now, on air fryer, it does switch to seconds. You can see there. So let's take a look at these. And I think they're good. And we're going to move those to the plate. We're going to move those to the this side of the plate. We'll put those because they're ready in 37 seconds. We're going to get those out where we can put some Fox Brothers on them, as providing they look okay. I feel positive they will, but we're going to make sure. And uh, I ain't got to tell you, the way the bones pull back right there, I mean, that's a, those are good-looking ribs. That's, that's what you want. That's, I, it looks perfect, and they always do in the Ninja now. We got 11 seconds right there, so before I try and do any of this, I'm going to let that time out. I've got this thing sitting here where I can set that lid right here. So let's do that. Off comes the lid. We'll set it right there. I'll let you see those also before I remove them. And I don't know how well the light is there, but you kind of get it the idea put that back right there and pull these ribs out and we're going to keep them whoops on that side we'll put those right there and this one right there so this is going to take me a minute to get them the way i want them but those are those look perfect to me there's there's nothing wrong with those ribs and, and they look almost identical I mean, if you think about it, we're doing the same thing. It's just two different devices. I, I just say that this is the best thing that's ever happened when they made this since the microwave. I say it all the time. I got a feeling this is going to follow suit. So I'm about to put some, of this on, put some of this support on them and then brush it around and get them ready. And we're going to set them back in there and do another five minutes. So I'll be back when I get some of that done. Okay, there, there they are. Now, I'm not going to get real picky about the way they go back in here. I mean, I'd rather them be this side up, obviously. But if they don't, it just, you saw how they look when I go top and bottom. They were, they look fantastic. I mean, it, it just, I'm, in fact, those went in there perfect, too. All right, and I try and stand them to where they'll, that surface will get 
uh, you know, both the, the top surface will get most of the heat and whatnot. So that almost went good. It was close. But what we're going to do, is I'm going to show you what it looks like in here, and I might be burning a little time on the camera. Because I'd rather it be perfect like the other one, but it, it ain't going to be, and it's no big deal. Uh, I gotta, I've got to wash that dish. Uh, that Fox Brothers is absolutely fantastic. Again, I'm not affiliated with anybody, any way, shape, form, or fashion. Pay for all this out of my pocket. So, I'm going to put this on. Just like that. And press it down like they ask. In fact, right there at that plug is probably the best place. And I guess I could have showed you, but I'll show you this one. I mean, it really doesn't matter. You just want them in there to where they can uh, get some of that heat. And we're going to put it, I'm going to put it on, say, we'll go with 10 minutes, but I'm not going to leave it 10. I'm going to watch it, both of them. I'm going to lift this off and look at it and open that one and look at it. So, air fry. We're going to change the temp here to 400 because I think that works best. Uh, time, we'll leave, we'll, I tell you what, we'll take it to 10. We'll take this one to 10 minutes. And press start. Same thing over here, air fry 10 at 400. It's already there. Hit start. So, once those run a little bit, we're going to do a little sneak and peek and see how they're looking. I'm going to get this cleaned up. We're going to re-sauce them again, and they'll be ready to eat. We'll be back. Okay, so with everything going on, <laughs> I got everything cleaned up. Let's take a look at the ones in the Ninja that are right at five minutes, and you can see that sizzle going on, and I'm, I'm about to call those done. Uh, you know what? Let's look at these. We can. Let's do. Oh, they're the same way. They are the same way. And, and like I said, right there is what you do with the lid. You set it down. And then you put it back on and it automatically starts back up. So same thing as a ninja, it's just not on a hinge. But I'm about to shut those down and pull those out and then I'm going to let them rest. And then we're going to take a better look at them and maybe eat some of them. In fact, let's do that. I'm going to hit, you know what, I'll just raise this one's lid and pull that one's lids off. I, I, think, I think they're done. I had washed this. I hadn't dried it yet. That was a thing. So, the Instant Pots will be on the right. Absolutely nothing looking wrong with those. And the Ninjas will be on the left. Now, I'm going to let them rest. I'm going to let them rest. I want them to cool off. And I got a couple I'm going to do them. So, right there they are. And I think you will agree... There's nothing wrong with those right there. Either set, they're identical. I mean, they are literally identical. The only thing you might run into is which one may be clean the best or something. But uh, we're at identical times. So, I mean, you know. Well, I'll show you what time it took. Total time to cook. Uh-oh. Now my battery needs uh, one hour and one minute and 26 seconds. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> put these lids on or shut these down where they'll quit beeping. We're done. I'm going to let those uh, rest. We'll be back in a minute to cut one open and see how it looks. Okay, so to keep from getting them confused by moving it somewhere to eat or something, we're going to do them right here. And that's the Instant Pots, and there's the Ninjas. I don't think there's going to be a nickel's worth of difference. But obviously, if you were serving these, you know, pour some of that in a cup and let them have at it. But let's just see. Let's just see what they look like on the inside. Go right down the middle of this one. And... Right there, that one goes, and we'll go ahead and cut this one while I got the knife in my hand. And let's see what they look like. All right, here's the Instant Pot. Well, that's not the thicker one here. This is the thicker side. And there's the Ninja. Uh, I don't know how you would get that much better. That rib right there still has texture, if you know what I mean. It, it's not fall off the bone, it, but that is not what I'm looking for either. I'm going to see if I can get the lights on them a little bit better. I don't want fall off the bone, and that's just my opinion. Again, 30 minutes instead of 20, and they would be. But if you want bite through texture, believe me, that is a perfectly cooked rib. <laughs> 
And that's the instant pots. And I'm probably going to chew that up. <laughs> but nothing, absolutely nothing at all wrong with that rib. I think you can tell by looking. And same way here. Uh, I, I just cooked ribs on my green egg this Sunday. I cooked them three and a half hours. I want to say something. The texture was probably not that good. That is perfect texture. Mm. Right now, I let them sit a little longer than normal. You could have served them 15 minutes ago. So pretty much an hour versus three and a half hours along with all the other stuff you got to do with the green egg. And I'm, I'm telling you, uh, that, if you ask me, it's competition style rib. Now, you'd have a little trouble entering that in a competition from a pressure cooker because a lot of people would have a problem with that. But as far as taste, I don't think so. Look here, I can't get my big head in that picture. I'm going to try. Hey, I love y'all all. I'm going to put my big head, my other head, my picture of my head right here for y'all to touch and subscribe. The, the Ninja or the Instant Pot Duo Crisp Air Fryer are the best things that's happened to the kitchen since the microwave. Either one of them. I guarantee you this is going to do as good as that. If you've got that, it works. If you got, if you don't have one, you, you can get this or that. They're the same thing. They are literally the same thing if you ask me. This one does do sous vide, and I will be checking that out before long. And uh, <clears throat> other than that, they're pretty much identical. Ribs are fantastic. Hey, thank y'all for watching. Y'all come back to see me. Love y'all all. Bye-bye.